So just quickly on the back of that one, um, in a nutshell, Deborah had um, asked, how do you measure a risk, for example, monetary value? Uh, so some risk is quite easy because you know that um, if, if you invest a million pounds and you lose it, you've lost a million. That's really straightforward. But quite often there are collateral, there's collateral damage when something goes wrong and, and ones that aren't immediately seen. Good example is the pandemic now. What is the effect on cancer sufferers, on uh, routine operations? I'm, uh, I'm recovering, not recovering, a, a year ago I had a new hip and it's made a huge difference to me. Me and my dog have walked two and a half thousand miles this year around the village. <laughs> and it's, and yet my younger brother and my older sister are both waiting for hip replacements and can't have them because of the pandemic. And it's very difficult to say what the impact on the quality of their life is and the impact, uh, it's not, a, you can't measure that in terms of cost. So difficult. I think that, I think you can make some measures in terms of lost, um, lost assets. What you can't measure easily is lost opportunity. Could our children have had a better education? My daughter started a degree course this year and some of her lessons are online. She's with some second year students who are all online and the quality of their education is unlikely to be as good as it would be if they were attending normal, normal teaching. So uh, I think there is a risk and a penalty of those sorts of things when external forces force you to change your, your, your style of direction.